good morning. Um, continuing with the GTEC uh, Rostock printer, Delta printer setup. Um, I'm starting to get and iron out the tweaks uh, and little bugs that's in in the thing. Uh, it is all down to the rules joints uh, and the tolerances that they've uh, uh, got on the rolls joints. If we have a look at uh, uh, my printer, the Inky Pie, which is the ori my original Delta, which is a mess, but <laughs> it works. Uh, it's a mess because it got flooded. Um, I don't use rolls joints. I use a ball bearing and uh, near-dear magnets. So those rods are just held by magnetism. Uh, which gives me zero play and uh, uh, a very accurate control. Uh, with the rose joints, you've obviously got engineering tolerances, and I'm afraid the engineering tolerances that's on the GTEC are um, not really good enough. Each rose joint has got a different amount of tension in each of those uh, balls. I've had to tighten some. Uh, very, um, <coughs> uh, uh, what should I say, cack handedly, um, just by tapping the uh, the brass to tighten it up. Uh, some were so lap, uh, loose that you could actually spin the ball around by hand, um, and you shouldn't be able to do that at all. The other problem was side to side movement on the uh, on the spindles and also um, the diameters of some of the spindles. I've had to actually use a little bit uh, of Loctite bearing uh, tightener uh, just to uh, uh, stop the, uh, um, the whole thing moving. Uh, we are getting there. There's one or two that are still not absolutely perfect. Uh, to get rid of the side to side uh, movement I actually had to file the aluminium spindles um, just say it might have been quarter of a mil on some, half a mil on others uh, but it's enough to cause you problems with the effective play. Saying that it's now getting there, it's been, I'm dialing it in steadily it's, it is working, it's got a nice action now uh, there's still one or two tweaks to do, one or two little bugs to iron out. Um, I've got the bed levelling uh, working in, a, in the I can run it manually. Um, but it, I think you need to store the information because when you start to run the print, it doesn't work. Uh, and when you put G29 into uh, the slice, it doesn't work. So, yeah, it's all, it's there, but it's not quite as it should be. Is it worth the money? Well, yeah, I paid about £200 for this. Um, so, and for me to buy the parts uh, to build another machine, uh, like Inky Pie, it would have cost me about £200. I wasn't going to build one as big as I built uh, the original, uh, but yeah, it would cost me. It would cost me that, um, plus a lot more time. It only took a day to build, so yeah. And there are some very nice features about it. I do like the polycarbonate. I do like the laser cut, and that has been done accurately. So, yeah, that works well. Uh, I like the bed. Um, other little things, well, I think I'm going to change the limit switches. These limit switches are crap. Um, they, uh, I've had one or two crashes uh, where it's overridden the limit switch. That's because the, probably the switch hasn't worked. Well, definitely the switch hasn't worked. So. That has to be resolved. But saying that, yeah, it is worth the money to get the basic machine.